In this video, we'll look into loading film into the old screwback Leica 3s, which can be somewhat challenging if you're new to this vintage cameras. Well, I'll use this dummy roll of film that I have, loaded with exposed black and white film, which I keep around to just test, just test cameras. Um, the thing is, the film leader on new film canisters are shorter than they were when the Leica 3s were in production in the 30s, 40s and 50s maybe up even until the 60s and that's why loading film in a Leica can be challenging if you just use a modern roll of film but to start with this we'll open up the back here On the inside of the bottom plate, you can actually see how long the the leader was. It was 10 centimeters before, which makes loading the like actually possible, but it isn't with a shorter lead. So we'll just pull out a spool. And what I do is I place the roll of film into where it should be, just above it, and I drag out the film until it reaches about above where the spool would be. Now the thing is, I have a long piece of film here, but the bottom sprocket holes actually make this rather impossible to load. So we have to cut the film in order to make a a longer lead. Now you'll have to cut it, just make the lead longer basically, but at the very end you'll have to keep two sprocket holes, and that is very important to keep two sprocket holes at the end of the lead. Now there's many ways to cut it, you could just basically use scissors and cut long. There's also a Leica uh, cutting guide that they made. I think it's the Lights Ablo, A-B-L-O-O, which you can use to cut perfectly. But what I use is, I basically just use my teeth because I just keep any brand new rolls of films and when I need it in the field I just use my teeth to create a cut and then I just basically drag the film along at the very end where you need two sprocket holes it's rather important to be careful and just make sure you have two complete sprocket holes at the end and that's basically it it doesn't look nice but it works what you will need then is to tuck the film into the spool so it attaches then you basically line up everything and you push down the spool and the cartridge simultaneously make sure the film goes in the gap behind the mechanisms You push down both until they sit. Then reattach the bottom plate, which doesn't seem to work here because the cartridge hasn't been put all the way down. So I'll just rotate on the spool of the cartridge and it just pops down. Ready to go. You lock it and you take the reversing knob and you basically twist it in the direction of the arrow to create tension in the cartridge. And this will give you an indication if you actually loaded the film correctly. That it, that it stops, so I won't drag it any further. 
Now forward your film. As you forward it, this reverse knob should also spin around. And that's basically a clear sign that your film is loaded and everything works. And after two pictures, your film is ready to roll. Now to rewind your film and take it out, you press this clutch release lever from A to R and you just rewind the film. And basically you drag it until you hear it catch. Keep on dragging so it un unattaches from the spool. Rotate it into the canister or the cartridge. Open up your bottom plate. And your canister is good to go.